Okay, in this video we're going to have a go at doing some low poly art. This is initially to produce a background for some additional animation work we're going to do. So I don't need this, I'm going to click on X and delete it. And then we use Shift and A, which is going to add in a new plane. So I'm going to select the plane from there. And then I'm going to use a Tab on the keyboard to go into the Edit menu. And then press S and drag the mouse to scale the plane to the size I want. So I'll make it quite a lot bigger. And now once I've done that, I'm going to press on W and select the subdivide option. And I'm going to do this a few times so that I can subdivide this into a whole series of little squares. Once I've got it into the number of squares I want, um, I'm going to press A, which can select and deselect everything that I'm working on. So for the moment I want it uh, deselected. I'm going to select a couple of vertices, that's where the points come together, so I'm going to click on there and then while I'm doing that I'm going to hold shift and use the right click to select a few points. Um, and once I've done that I can press 5 on the number pad okay, and I can start to pull it upwards. Okay. If I hold on the scroll button I can scroll it around, see what it looks like from different points. If I don't want it there I can always click on that middle point there. And pull that up so we get more of a kind of a mountain range starting to rise up as part of my landscape. Okay, I'm going to do that with another couple of points here. So I'm going to click on it, I'm going to hold on shift, press on the right hand mouse button. Make sure I'm not selecting that one as well. And pull those up. Pull my perspective round, click on this one, pull this one up, maybe click on some of the points there so I can start to kind of me make this less um, strange as far as the landscape goes. Kind of build it maybe into a bit more of a hilly range, pull it around, select a couple of other ones. You can see how I'm going with this. Select like this one, pull that one up as well. Okay, you can see I've started to get rid of a mountain shape going. Then if I press on O, that should take me into Proportional Editing Tool. And what I should now be able to see down here is that uh, Smooth Fallout should be selected. And again, I can select a couple of different bits here. So that one and that one. Now if I press on G, and then on Z, while I'm doing this, it locks it so that when I'm pulling them, they only pull upwards. And you can see now I'm trying to grab the edge of the land as well. So it looks a bit more realistic. I can do that over here as well. So I'm going to go shift and shift and shift. K, G, and then Z, which locks it in. I can start to bring all the land form up. Not quite so high up that time. And again, it, while I'm doing this, if I just select another couple, select these ones, pressing on G, and then on Z. Now, if I use the scroll on the mouse, I can expand the area that it affects. So as I pull it up, it brings up more of the area. Okay, so you get more of kind of a mountain range coming up. Or again, if I select over here, I can so G and Z, I can bring it down so it affects a much smaller area. Okay, now I start to build up either sharp mountains like the ones I did over here, or much smoother hills like I've done over here. Now if I want to select a couple of those again, I can do that here, right clicking on them. And maybe I want to set those to a bit higher to make that into a bit more of a point on the rounded mountain. Again, if I hold on the scroll, I can see I'm starting to get a bit of a landscape here. I'll take these ones again, select these with shift. Again, I'm going to do G, Z. I'm going to expand out my frame a bit to make this a bit more mountainous. And I'm going to click on these ones here. Right clicking. I'm going to start to bring those in. So this becomes a bit of a more meaty, more believable type of mountain. <laughs> okay. Now once I've done that with all of it, I'm going to press on A. Which again, remember, can either select or deselect everything. I want everything selected. And I'm going to press on Control and T which will triangulate the mesh. You can see it's all divided now. And then I'm going to press on A to deselect the mesh. Okay, and now once I've done that, I'm going to use random fall off mode, which should be showing there. 
And I want to select a few of the points again. So I'm going to take a few of these points, so like that one and that one. Okay. And I'm going to bring these ones up. So these should appear in a slightly more random range. And you can see they're bringing up the foothills around them. And again, I might do the same over there. So it's a couple of the points there and bring them up and they should, we're starting to get a bit more of a mountains range now I only want that one okay once we've done all of that I'm going to press A again and then I'm going to press on the A to select them all and then I'm going to press on W I should now get a menu option I want to select the uh, shade flat I'm going to just find that, there we go okay and I'm going to press on tab which will exit the edit menu and you can see I start to get a bit of a rounded low poly kind of landscape coming together now I'm going to press um, well I'm actually just going to save this, I'm going to do control S and I'm going to give this a name so I'm going to call this low poly mountain I want to remember so I can come back to it mm. And what I now want to do is I want to have a go at trying to add some kind of materials onto the mountain. So, with the mountain object selected, I want to click on the materials button. So if you look across here, so if I scroll across here a bit, you should be able to see the materials option there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a couple of colors. So if I click on a new color, and I call this green, and I go to diffuse, I should be able to select kind of a, a low poly green section on there. Now on here, I want to take the intensity down to nothing to make it kind of a dull background green. I want to repeat the same to make a couple of others. So I'm going to call this one white. And surprisingly, I'm going to select a white color here. And again, I'm going to take the intensity right down on that one. And again, I'm going to make another one. And this one I'm going to call brown. Again, I'm going to want to diffuse. I'm going to select kind of a browny color here. But this I want a deeper brown, so I'm going to take this down to a darker color. And again, I want it flat, so I'm going to take out the intensity. Now, what I should now have is a green as a background. And I now want to apply the other colors to different parts of it. So I'm going to press on Tab to enter the edit mode again. Z, which is a wireframe, this allows me to see right the way through the hill. It will allow us to put colors on the front and the back at the same time. Then I'm going to do um, Control and Tab. And I want to select Faces because I'm going to color in the faces of it. Now I'm going to try and get a bit flatter. And what I'm basically going to do here is I'm going to select B, which should allow me to select kind of the top bits there. Okay, if I try that again. Select B. Okay. And what I can do is I can click on white and I can assign those to there. And I can click on B again. Well, I'm going to press on A first to get rid of all of that. Click on B again. And I'm going to select this range. And I'm going to click on brown. And I'm going to assign that to those ones. And now what I should have... Um, is hopefully... Okay, now if I press on Tab and press on Z, we should now be able to see that mostly we've now got green base, brown mountains, and a few white snow-capped snow tops. If that hasn't quite worked out the way we want, what we can also do is we can select these faces individually and assign them how we want. If we need, for instance, to make that hill a bit whiter or a bit more consistent, so I've actually click on the right one when I'm assigning it. See, so yeah, I've now started to get a bit more of a white mountain, certainly on that one face. And we can now start to see how this is starting to look um, as a low poly landscape and it could well be you can see I've probably applied the brown in too many spaces there so what might be a good idea is just to hold down on the shift select several of these go to green and reassign those 
okay or like we did before what I could do is take it back onto the edge space press on Z to take it back into wireframe select B again to select the lower level and I could assign the green there take tab Z okay and we can now see I've got the green back on with the brown tops and again there's still a bit of work to do on this one Just pressing on tab to go back into edit and selecting a couple more faces holding shift to select multiple ones if I want assigning those that mountain's a bit more uniform on the white okay press on Z again and tab to change that okay and again now we can start to see we've got a bit of a low poly landscape and I can now use this as a basis either for well for any of the animation that I'm going to do coming next.